your room keys and your underwear up on stage. I know it's Tom Jones, but it's not unusual to keep your clothes on <laughs> anymore. You're just jealous, Captain. That's true, I am. <laughs> I'd like to be a sweaty Welshman up on stage with a voice like that. Yeah, no Absolutely. kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> 93.5, 104.7 FM, Pirate Radio, Arg me mateys. 8.15, and uh, we have a couple of tasty winches in the studio That's this morning. That's right. So Tom Jones needs to be jealous of Ex- you I was morning. just going to say, <laughs> I don't need to be Tom Jones. I got it covered. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and these ladies have a great cause they'd like to talk about. And uh, we're more than happy to oblige. Heck yeah. Yeah. It's an um, event called Wheels for Meals, and it's coming up. And it's the Meals on Wheels people that are here. Oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tricky. So Glenda from Meals on Wheels is here. And then we have Kelly from Ed Carroll is here as well. So welcome, ladies. Appreciate you being here today. Thank you yeah. for having us. Sure. Yeah. Just kind of lean in and uh, speak up when you're on. It works more better. Yeah, tell us uh, about this car show that's coming up. So the car show is Sunday, August 18th from 8 to 11 a.m. at Ed Carroll, which is right off of um, South College. Um, We have a lot of great community support and business support for the car show. We do not recoup any expenses at Ed Carroll. Everything that's spent for the car show is just out of pocket for us. Sure. So all the donations that come in nice. this year in particular are matched up to $25,000. Wow. Our goal is to help Meals on Wheels reach $50,000 in honor of their 50th anniversary uh, this wow, year. Wow, that's great. Perfect. That's awesome. It's very exciting. Yeah, good folks over at Ed Carroll, too. And a great line of cars and stuff, too. Heck Just yeah. a wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> a little side promotion there. That's right. and, uh, and obviously a very generous hearts over there because uh, that's awesome that they're they're going to gener- you know, donate that kind of uh, capital and just go, it's, it's a great cause. We're glad to do it. Heck yeah. So, it's yeah. incredible. I mean, they, they, they've they been doing this for 33 years. Wow. This is a 33rd annual um, Ed Carroll Motor Show, uh, Car Show, which is incredible for us. Now, it's coming up on Sunday, August 18th, so put that on your calendars. Just a little uh, over a month away. Yeah, it's about a month away, and it runs from 8 to 11 a.m., and of course there's going to be some bitchin' cars, I'm assuming. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we have um, support from numerous car clubs in the area. The Rocky Mm -hmm. Mountain 356 Club has all the cool old James Dean-style cars. Oh, sweet. You can see... um, old Audis to new Audis with the Rocky Mountain Audi Club and then of course uh, without the support of Rusty Pooler and the Rare Air Dub Club we wouldn't get all the sweet old Beatles and old Volkswagen oh, nice. buses and stuff that <laughs> most people love to see and take them down oh, memory yeah. lane. And they, they, they take them to the nth degree customizing. I love and, the hippie buses. And They're awesome. Oh, There's yeah. <laughs> I think Glenda's favorite last year was a limo bus that a oh, guy nice. merged two of them together and it came from Hawaii. Wow. wow. Where they used it for a limo service there. Neat. So we do not <laughs> limit the cars that are welcome at the show, though. We take all makes and models. And this year in particular, we have an award for the best 1969 since we're throwing it back 50 years. Oh, wow, okay. So if you've got an old 69 sitting in your garage, bring it over and you could win an award. Wow. Well, that's cool. That, that sounds is very like cool. a lot of fun. So uh, people who uh, submit their cars, uh, is there a pay for that? No, there is no registration fee. We okay. just request that if you're feeling you generous, make a donation to Meals on Wheels, and that donation will be matched. Even if you're not able to make it the day of the show, we still match donations if you earmark it for Wheels for Meals, the okay. car show. Sounds great. And it's going to be at the dealership? I'm sorry. Yes, we block off the street and um, <laughs> from, That's very from cool. the front end road there all the way down to McClellan. It's wow. blocked off. So we oh, use, nice. clear out the parking lots and use the street. Uh, UC Health, PVH donates breakfast burritos. We've got coffee cool. donated from Human Bean. Um, just a lot of family fun, bounce house for the kids. Bullhide a couple years ago donated money, and we still have the stuff that they donated for us. Wow. And kids can take cars on a little dirt track, Aww. and then, of course, we want to teach them how to take care of their cars, <laughs> right. so there's a car wash after that. Nice. Plenty of family fun uh. for everybody, and it's free to attend, open to the public. Um, we just ask that if you do attend, that you're courteous of our neighbors 
and sure. their uh, signage for <laughs> patron parking only. We don't want to upset anybody. So right. utilize the max if you can. Ride your bike carpool right bring your own old car and show it and hang out and watch there, there you go. go watch that's all the other cars rolling yeah. that's the way to ensure your own parking space that's is right. to bring a car to <laughs> enter to the show <laughs> gonna have to yeah. get yours up and running get some brakes <laughs> on that it's bad boy it's a little boy. soon for that one <laughs> but you got uh, a month <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can work a miracle in a month can sure it? so glenda tell us again a little bit about uh, meals on wheels what you guys offer for fort collins and uh, give us some details on the 50th anniversary well we've it's an ongoing uh, celebration of our sure. 50th year, which is an incredible feat, I think, nowadays uh, as a nonprofit. Sure. Um, we serve an average of 200 people every day. Okay. Um, we do so, uh, we have under three full time employees. So we really rely on a lot of volunteers. And wow. so we have yeah. over 175 volunteers wow. that are our vel- delivery drivers. Um, and I'm assuming you could always use more volunteers. Oh, absolutely. Too. Absolutely. Sure. We could always use more volunteers. Because, uh, you know, people go on vacations and different things like that so um it's it's we can even have people you don't have to take a weekly route or a monthly route you could you could actually we have some uh companies that will share one route like the rotary club will share one route and they only have one driver that comes in once a week right. which means that it spreads it all out they're not they're not so they don't have to come once a week um to deliver but we really could use you know any and all help you can get exactly yeah. absolutely and you know um, we work on a sliding scale as far as the meals go so we really want to boost uh, the uh, the number of, of sponsored meals uh, and important to note is also that um, that with um, th- Ed Carroll, uh, they actually uh, started a fund for us, and it's called the Karen Carroll Fund. And so what that means is if you designate um, any funding wow. for the Karen Carroll Fund, uh, then we will actually, we'll, that sponsors a meal, that sponsors meals for sure. people. Um, and so, you know, we can we can always, we can use uh, so much money to, to deliver, to, to make sure that everybody that needs a meal is getting a meal. Sure. That's the important thing. And it's, it's more than a meal, too. It's like, it's kind of a welfare check absolutely on uh, people that uh, you know, maybe need to be checked on a little, yeah. little well, how'd more how do you often. know that that's kind of cool yeah <laughs> yeah so um we you know sometimes the social interaction that's provided to a number of people that are homebound that's you know a lot of times the only time that they see people exactly we've actually had instances where um, i think in the last year we have literally saved three lives as a result of that because we continue to check on them if they're not home yeah right? it doesn't surprise me that yeah. you know because that's it, it's really a valuable service, you know, because it's, it's at their doorstep and they mm-hmm. answer the door to you because, mm-hmm. well, it's a meal yeah. and they expect you and uh, you actually kind of become friends. And, oh, absolutely. And yeah. believe me, if we're not there by 1230, they're calling <laughs> us. <laughs> they want their food. Sure. <laughs> I was just thinking of my grandpa and he was, yeah, he was Mr. <laughs> on the, where's my meals on wheels lady today? Stay off my grass, but where's my food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that nice lady? Yeah, yeah. and it, uh, yeah, it, and it's such a valuable service, and uh, and you don't get enough credit for all that uh, you guys do because it takes an awful lot to put the meal together and yeah, everything, absolutely, and, and get it delivered to somebody's home, yeah. and and just all the interaction and stuff and the time it takes. Yeah. And uh, it's all it's all voluntary. Yeah, yeah. what a great so, cause too. Yeah. What a great and, thing. Well, you know, uh, we really couldn't do this without PBH Hospital. They're the ones who actually prepare the meals for us, so we're able to reach a number of different specific dietary needs. So we have uh, people that have swallowing issues or chewing issues. We can do de- um, dental soft or puree. Um, we also um, they they actually give us in kind over a hundred and seventy thousand uh, wow. dollars in kind services wow. because their staff their everything but we receive absolutely no government funding at all right so we really rely on individuals uh, these fundraisers this is incredible we have so many veterans that are receiving food we have disabled folks um, you don't have to be elderly you have to be primarily homebound um, and over the age of 62 but we have a number of people that are just in need and so many right. uh, need meals j- they need that proper nourishment so if somebody needs your services i'm assuming there's still the opportunity to oh. to get signed up and get the service absolutely you can you can go to our website at mealsonwheelsfc.org 
um, or you can just give us a call. Okay. Give us a, give us a call. We can send you out an application, get everything. We'll, we can have you started within a day or two. Okay. Perfect. So, Good to yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, you know, you always need donations, too. And thanks to Ed Carroll for a huge yeah. That's donation an and yeah. all the, uh, you know, press that you're getting out of it and, the, and notoriety, getting the word out. It's always helpful, too. Absolutely. We really appreciate you, le- you letting us come on. Oh, absolutely. It's our pleasure. Yeah. yeah anytime you have anything going on, you let us know. We're right. happy to get that out for we you. We appreciate that. That's what we do here at the Pirates. That's right. Yeah. We may be pirates, but we have a big heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, give us the details of the event. It's coming up on the 18th of August. Yes. Sunday, August 18th, 8 to 11 a.m. at Ed Carroll Motor Co., 3003 South College Avenue. Um Ride, walk, right. max it over, support Meals on Wheels, double your money as far as your donation goes. There you go. Let your kids come, look at cool cars, play in the bounce house, race some Hot Wheels, <laughs> do chalk drawings. It's the only time they'll get to do oh. that at Ed Carroll. Nice. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. And I think that Swallow is the cross street. Swallow is, yes. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. and that's right on the Max route, isn't it? I it mean, is. real close. You just yeah, the bus stops yeah, right there on say. McClellan behind the Yeah, that's yes. what I thought. Store. Or bring an entry and you've got an automatic parking spot. There you go. Yes, and we're going to have some really cool throwback T-shirts this year, some tie-dye going back to Woodstock oh, for oh, 69. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, it'll be a unique year for yeah. the car show and, and how we're able to kind of promote that 50-year anniversary for Meals on Wheels for Collins. <laughs> Sounds and like congratulations on 50 years, yeah. too. I know you haven't been there the entire time. Well, Linda, she's not but even. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You're yeah. only about 30. Uh, yeah, 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 let's go with that. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, yeah, uh, Meals on Wheels, what a what a tremendous service and uh, necessary in our society. And uh, thank you for, for doing all that you do. And uh, Wheels on Wheels for Meals. Wheels, wheels. wheels for Meals. Wheels for Meals through Ed Carroll. That's uh, also a, g- a great service to the community. Yeah, we're going to put that all on our Facebook page. Yeah. That way people can just click through and oh, great. get all the details. I appreciate yeah, that. In case they need numbers and stuff to and sign up and or everything else. And donate volunteer if they're so inclined. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, ladies, for being here and being a part of Pirate Radio. Thank Wish you. you the best of luck, of course. And uh, the way to get out of here is either walk the plank, which is now nine <laughs> floors up, or give us your best arg. There you go. Yeah, Yeah. you're officially pirates now. Yep, now you are. (laughs) Thanks so much for being here. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, Tom Jones. (laughs) Yeah. You got nothing on you, Captain. I got it all. Yeah, I love it.